about me. About when I was your age. Called the Voyager Jaguar. I'm standing in the great cat house. As a child, my father would take me to the Bronx Zoo. I was born with a debilitating stutter. I couldn't speak. I was a normal young man, but I was seen as broken and dysfunctional because I didn't have a normal human voice. My head was a cage. I was like the, the animals. I lean towards my favorite animal, the jaguar, and I whisper. Someday, if I was ever able to find my voice, I would be their voice. I would try to speak for them and save them. Are you trying to make me cry? <laughs> <laughs> this put me on my path. I got my PhD in wildlife biology, studying black bears in the Great Smoky Mountains. After I got my PhD, I stayed two years in the jungles of Belize, radio coloring jaguars in the rainforest. I was good at this. I loved being in the jungle. I loved being away from human beings so that I didn't have to try to speak to them. Over the next 20 years, I set up over 15,000 square kilometers of pristine habitat. I set up the world's largest tiger preserve, connected to four other protected areas I had set up ranging right up to the Himalayas. I was being lauded by the world. Dubbed the Indiana Jones of Wildlife Conservation by Time Magazine, Alan Rabinowitz. And that's when I realized no matter how many protected areas I set up, I could not keep pace with humankind. Because inside was pristine habitat, outside were people, wildlife trade, indigenous groups, opium growing, gold mining, and then an insurgent army group, people. The things I didn't like too much. We were losing these animals. The clock is ticking. I was still running. I was still trying to find a world which was away from the world of people who I felt had so mistreated me. Jaguar represents the ability to be free, to be strong. It has given me the strength to live life on my own terms. I wanted to become the voice of the Jaguar. I wanted to be able to plead for it in a way that it couldn't do for itself. We both depend upon each other. We are the Jaguar, and the Jaguar is us. I got it. People were part of the picture. It means that this becomes part of the conservation landscape that you deal with. Big cats need a home, fully protected, inviolate, but outside that national park, we need buffer areas where the people are benefiting from living with the animals in a sustainable way. This is the largest working model of carnivore conservation in the world. This model allows great cats to breed and to travel and to survive well into the future. The little boy who didn't have a voice, who couldn't find his voice, found it. Things are changing in my life. And what I view now as my greatest contribution is to look for young people. People with this deep, deep passion to seek out wild places and save wildlife. I want people to help me save the big cats. Think about what we're really giving future generations. We have to give them a world with lions and tigers and jaguars and leopards. We have to. <laughs>